Hello and welcome to Learn Ukrainian with Victoria. Today I would like to teach you Ukrainian alphabet and we would go together letter by letter. I painted a book um, where, well, I painted the letters with the pictures in the book and I would like to introduce it today and I hope you like it. The first letter of Ukrainian alphabet is A. And this is just the same as in English language. And you see there is a pineapple painted. And down there it is the word for pineapple. And it is ananas. And again, ananas. And ananas, I've heard in some languages, means exactly the same. So this is the first letter, and this is the small one. And here it is a, a, a. There are three letters a. Hello, and I continue in the new place, so we move on with the alphabet. The next letter is very, very weird, because, let me first show it to you, and then I'll explain why. This is, this is the letter. And this is the letter U. And I'm not surprised if you can't pronounce it immediately as an English speaker, or perhaps there is none, um, there is no such letter in your alphabet. And I will help you. See this picture? See this mouse? It's like uh, You can try it. You say, Ah, and then you spread your mouth super wide to the sides and you say uh, and the word for this letter is fish ba and this is here is this u letter and the reason why I didn't put the word that starts with this letter is simply because there is no word in Ukrainian alphabet that starts with this letter. So, um, again, let's repeat. I guess because this letter is a bit weird, maybe that's why no of the words want to have it as first letter. I don't know. And let's move on. So, the next letter that I would like to show you is this one. And this is a very cute letter. You probably know this letter in English alphabet. And this is, in English it's I, but here in Ukrainian it's just E. And I also put the sign for end. I hope you can recognize it. And it's basically the same word in Ukrainian as this letter also means end. So basically, for instance, girls and boys in Ukrainian would be chlopchiki i dzivchata. So you hear that i at the middle? Again, chlopchiki i dzivchata. Boys and girls. So that E at the middle is basically M. It's just simple as that. You just put this. This is actually mother <laughs> and this is like a child. I don't know why I painted this, but I thought it's cute. And we move on. Well, we're gonna start 
with more simple one. Oh no, actually let's start with more difficult one and we will be like sandwiching because half of Ukrainian alphabet consists of the letters that you probably never saw before, like Chinese but not so complicated but still like um, Greek or something. And half of the letters is just the same as in English language. So we will be doing sandwiching one letter that you know, one letter that you don't know and hopefully your brain gonna process it back. So without further ado, I'm gonna show it to you first. And you try to guess, if you like, what did I portray here and what actual word could be. Because, I give you a hint, this word is also in English alphabet. Oh, sorry, not an alphabet, in English language. It's also an English language word. I don't know which language got this first, let's not discuss it for now, but... I give you a hint if you didn't guess it yet. This are the strawberries. Mm -hmm. If you guessed it, great. If not, no worries. Anyway, I shall I tell it now? I think I'll tell it now. So this is yogurt. Yes, it's strawberry yogurt. And this letter is Y. It's basically when you say yogurt, you start with this letter. And here it is, the first letter. And it's, it's like the English Y, like the English um, Y letter, I think. But it's pronounced like Y. Y. For instance, when you say yeast or yogurt or um, Jasmin, or you say Jasmine in English? I don't know. But anyway, I think you get the gist. I hope you get the gist of this letter. And let's read it now. Y. Can you guess this letter? I bet you can. Exactly. Yo. This one we had already. I wonder if you could guess it. Oh. This is good. Yo so you already probably know this letter and this and the rest probably looks a bit gibberish to you but we will discover it slowly I think I'm gonna break this um, alphabet series into two videos because I really wanna take the time and there is no rush in learning the alphabet so we're gonna move slowly and this is yogurt and let's now move on to a letter that you probably know and I'm not gonna tell it what it is actually now I guess you can guess it it's basically this one here mm -hmm. If you're an English speaker or non-English speaker, probably you have this letter in the alphabet. This is K. And in, in Ukrainian alphabet, it sounds like K. And the word for this letter is cow. Surprisingly, cow and korova starts also with the same letter K. No, actually don't. Well, not. it's more like the pronunciation is the same, but the writing is different. But Anyhow, let's, um, here I painted a very cute cow, um, it's kind of hiding behind the letter, or maybe it's gonna chew on the letter now, I don't know, but anyway, ko, ro, and this one we had already, it's not B, no, it's the first letter of my name, it's a V, V. And that is A. Together. Korova. Korova. It means a cow. Korova. Moo. Moo. Sorry. 
and let's move on now I would like to show you oh yeah this letter this letter would probably be very different and very weird to you but somehow familiar I think if you are a French speaker there is this kind of letter in French alphabet and I think it's in the word naïve uh, naïve or something like that I'm uh, not so good in French but anyhow I'm showing it to you now on your request yes this is kind of like a letter where you think hmm is it a butterfly without the wings like you could imagine here some wings and this is the letter Y. It's not Y that we learned just a minute ago, but it's Y. Like it's Y and E at the end. So it's like, it's actually a letter that consists out of two sounds, if you will. And you probably, you can think about it as E with two dots. And that's why it's not E, it's Y. Y not E. And this cute little boy here is a hedgehog. And the word for this letter here is Y. If you think it's a spider, no, it's still a letter. Z A and this one you know. K. Yizak. 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 And that's this little little dude there. <laughs> that's having a little apple carrying it somewhere. Maybe to the little hedgehog babies. And now I would like to continue our sandwich story. Probably you get hungry after this, uh, watching this video. But our next sandwich letter, which is familiar to you, so probably this is the delicious um, sausage part of the sandwich. And this letter is... Oh no, how does this dude make? I don't even know. But here it is. And well, actually I cheated on you just now without realizing it. Actually yeah, it's not really the letter that you would probably guess. I mean you have it in English alphabet, it's letter C, but in Ukrainian alphabet we would pronounce it as S. So it's not that S that you kind of it's not this S, like the dollar S, but it's it's like this S in Ukrainian alphabet. So it's maybe confusing, but we don't have that dollar S in Ukrainian alphabet. Instead, we just have this nice S. Sounded weird? <laughs> Never mind. So this little dude is called Slon. And again, s l o n, slon. <laughs> Don't ask me why I do this. I just love animals. <laughs> ah, so the next letter that is definitely the one you know because the last one was a bit weird, maybe, is you definitely know this letter. Hello. This is T, and in cranial alphabet we say T. T. And this is a plate, and there are some berries inside, and the word is da real. Can you guess these two letters? How they pronounce? If you say ka, you are completely right. 
Тарелка. Т а р и л к а. Тарелка. Let's continue after a very small break. Oh, hello. You are still there. I guess it means you really want to learn Ukrainian language. So now I have a real letter for you, which is not like in English. And this is the second letter of Ukrainian alphabet. And it's a bit different. And here it is. It is B. And in Ukrainian we say B. And here is a grandma painted with some flowers and another B, B letter on the neck. And I, as you might guess, this grandma has something to do with this letter. And basically, the word for grandma also starts with this letter B. And here it is. Ba bu xia and again ba bu xia and fast ba bu xia Before we move on I have a little story for you to tell So we just learned three Ukrainian letters and I would like to tell you a little story So Бабуся їде на велосипеді і в руці тримає 
ananas. Why did I just say? It, did it sound to you like a bit of gibberish language? I'm sorry. I will translate it to you bit by bit. So, Babusia, grandma, jede na velosipedi, is riding on a bicycle. I vruci tremaje, and in her hand she holds. Oh, that's already <laughs> another page here. Ananas. Babusia jede na velosipedi, i tremaje ananas. If you think that this is Ukrainian letter B, then you are wrong. And here is why. Basically, we've looked already that this is the letter B for Babusia. But here is the trick. In English language, this would be the letter B, right? And in Ukrainian language, this is the letter V. And the word for this letter that I chose is, of course, bicycle. V, lo, si, pet. And again, v, lo, si, pet. And you might remember it um, when you think about the wheels that the bicycle has. And when you see this letter, it's also kind of has like two half circles so maybe it helps you to remember the name it's a pretty long one but um, anyway let's move on uh, the next letter is this one and if you wonder what is this letter and how it sounds if it's like a seven or one this one is R. And I don't think in English there is something like that. It's basically something like H. So, where was I? Yeah. This is something like H, the English um, H letter, which you pronounce like in the word house, but you speak it with the actual. Here with the sound. Oops. <laughs> and the way you pronounce it is like this. If it's difficult, no worries. It's don't worry about it. We learn the alphabet anyway, not the pronunciation. So this is how you're gonna write it. And an example is. A pumpkin. H, R, B, U, Z. And all together, Garbuz. Um, I've been told that this hat looks like a grandma's hat. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And the next letter that I would like to show you is this one. And this letter is D. D. And actually, D in Ukrainian means where. And here is how you write it and how you would probably see it in the language. It looks a little bit like the house. My phone kind of just wants to fall down the whole time. <laughs> but um, it looks like a house. And actually, the word for house in Ukrainian language is D. This probably you might guess. E, and this one you know for sure because it's the same in English. M, and the word is dim. And here I painted a little house. 